Hey everyone, it's Paul here, and thank you for watching another I Cook and Paint video. Today I'm really excited to show you how I made this homemade strawberry soda using a ginger bug. This is an all-natural, healthy, lacto-fermented soda that I made with strawberries that I picked myself. So if you don't know what a ginger bug is, here's one right here. Ginger bug is nothing more than a fermented concoction of ginger, sugar, and water, and when you let it get bubbly, it becomes a starter for making your own homemade soda pop. You just add some of it to a sweet drink and then seal it in a bottle and put it away to ferment for a few days. Then the ginger bug goes right to work. It starts eating up all the sugars and it turns your beverage into a probiotic rich, super fizzy soda pop that's actually good for you. These sodas are really good for digestion. Now this here is my homemade cola and one day really soon I am going to share the recipe with you guys. But if you or someone you know is addicted to store bought sugar loaded soda, you might want to keep watching. To learn how to make a ginger bug, click the link you see in the top corner right here and it'll take you to my video on how you can learn to make and maintain your own. Or if you want, you can click the second link under this video where you can read all about it on my blog iCookingPaint.com. And while you're there, don't forget to check out my paintings, some of them might make you hungry. Now a couple of hours before you make your soda, you want to take your ginger bug out of the fridge and let it become bubbly. Once it is, you'll be able to make any kind of soda you want with it. Cola, root beer, ginger ale. You can add them to different flavors of sweet tea to give them a nice fizz. Just experiment and make up your very own flavor of soda. Now you're probably wondering when we're going to start making this strawberry soda. For the first step, you have to make a strawberry wart. So I have here two cups of fresh strawberries. You can also use frozen. And I'm just going to add them into a pot here along with some sugar. And then I'm going to add in some chlorine free water. If your tap water is treated with chlorine where you live, just leave it out for 24 hours and the chlorine will disappear. Otherwise, you can just use bottled water. And as an optional ingredient, a little bit of salt just to help boost the flavor. So now I'm going to cover this and bring it to a boil on high heat. As soon as you see it boiling like this right here, reduce the heat and now you have to let it simmer for 20 minutes. Halfway through the cooking time, you might want to mash the strawberries to get all the flavor and color out of them. Then make sure you return the lid. You have to keep it covered so it doesn't reduce. Then you'll want to remove it from the heat. While it's cooling, line a strainer with a couple of layers of cheesecloth and then strain your soda through and squeeze every last bit of juice out. Now you want to make sure your wort is cooled completely before you add in your ginger bug. If it's still hot, then the heat will kill it and your drink won't carbonate. So now you want to measure a quarter cup of the juice that's in the ginger bug. So just strain it off and leave the ginger behind. And then for every quart of soda that you want to carbonate, you need a quarter cup of bubbly ginger bug. So go ahead and add it in and stir it really well. Then you want to put it in bottles. Make sure that it's the type of bottle with the swing top lid. Or if you want, you can use a plastic recycled bottle with a screw top lid. It's also really important not to fill these more than two-thirds full because there's going to be a buildup of gas while they're fermenting. So if you fill them right to the top, the gas won't have anywhere to go and when you open your soda, it'll fly out. If you use a plastic bottle with a screw top lid, it's going to be really easy to tell when it's carbonated because it'll be really hard to squeeze. Now ginger bug is a lot like sourdough starter. Whenever you use some of it, you have to refeed it to keep it going. So I have here more chopped ginger that I've left the skin on and some more sugar. So I have about a tablespoon of each. Then you can top it off with more of that chlorine free water. Now when you mix these together, don't use anything metal, only use plastic or wood because ginger bugs don't seem to like metal. And then when you put the lid back on, don't screw it on too tight. Leave it nice and loose so that oxygen can get in there. Some people like to use a coffee filter fastened with an elastic band. That works well too. And now you can put it away in the fridge and leave it in there until you're ready to make your next batch of soda. Now here's what my soda looked like already the next day. Because it's summer and it's really hot right now, it didn't take very long for these bubbles to start forming on the top. Once you see that your soda is carbonated, you want to put it in the fridge because that will slow down the fermentation process. If you leave it out too long, then the ginger bug will eat all the sugar and your soda will become less and less sweet and eventually it won't taste good at all. Now you want to make sure that after every 8 hours, you burp your bottle. That just means you open it like this and when you hear the little pop of the gas escaping, that's really good. If you allow the gas to build up too much in here, your soda will explode out of the bottle or sometimes, even though it's rare, your bottle will explode. 
And that's it guys, now go make yourself some of this amazingly delicious super fizzy strawberry soda. And don't be afraid to try other berry combinations and even other fruits all together. And let me know how your ginger bug sodas are working out for you. And don't forget you can get this complete recipe on my blog icookandpaint.com just by clicking down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you all so much for watching and I'll be back with another great recipe really soon. Have a good day guys.